YouTube, what is going on? Back in my latest video. Today, I just want to show you guys something that came in the mail today. Got two really cool Funko Pops to show you. So let's get right into it. See what I got. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to the channel, welcome, hit subscribe button down below as well, so you're updated on most recent content, and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, I just want to show you guys two pops that came in the mail. Full disclosure, these are not my fungal pops. I actually uh, got these for a friend. Um, she is out of the country, so it was easier for me to get this for her, and I'm going to send these out to her, and... Um, Really cool pops, it's not what I like to collect at all. This is part of the NFT line for Funko Pops. This might have been the, the least popular line for NFTs, which is not really too surprising given what it is. Um, but I think the pops are pretty cool for people who are collectors. So let me show you these two pops and let me get your opinions in the comment section below if you like these pops or if you got them in your collection. So first we have Rarity from My Little Pony. So. I've never watched My Little Pony. I've heard nothing but great things, though, about My Little Pony, the cartoon. Um, I think like the new ones, or the one that was right before this one, supposed to be one of the best cartoons of all time. Have not given the chance. If you guys have seen it, drop down the comment section below. But um, this just never was my thing growing up. But they're cool looking pops. Uh, this is the Grail, so this is limited to 999 pieces, so a pretty limited fungal pop. Uh, I don't know what the values on these are uh, going for at the moment, but at the time when they were uh, part of the NFTs, like the coins and like the redeemable um, tokens for them, were pretty affordable, you know, all things considered. I think a lot of people were able to, who were My Little Pony fans, were able to get some pretty cool collectibles for an affordable price. Um, this is one of the ones that I didn't really think Funko was going to do a line for. You know, it was a surprising line choice for Funko to do, but there is a whole lot of My Little Pony fans out there, so I uh, definitely think the ones who are fans were able to get some really cool stuff into their collection. They had a previous line of My Little Pony uh, Funko Pops. I don't know how well they did. I don't think they're very valuable at all, but these are actually having some value, the, the stuff in this line from what I've seen. I just don't know about this one so much. Um, but Rarity was the Grail. I think there was three legendaries, and then I'll show you guys a royalty in a second. Um, I actually think I have some of the legendaries coming in that just have not come in, but when they do, I will show you guys. But the Grail, pretty cool, limited 999 pieces. Um, I like showing you guys these NFT stuff because I haven't gotten any of the redeemables in a while. Um, the Nickelodeon line did just drop yesterday. Uh, I definitely want to get my hands on some of those. The Winslow, uh, Ed Big Head. And uh, there's one other one that I just had to have. I forget what it was, but that Winslow one was the one I wanted the most. That's a pop I never thought that Funko would make just because he wasn't like a main character in a show that not too many people talk about too often. So really excited to get that one. And it doesn't look like he's too expensive. So stay tuned. I might get one of those pretty soon. But the other one I got in the mail today was a, a pretty cool one and something I normally would collect, but I just don't know who the character is. But that's Freddy Funko Spike. So you guys know that I like to correct, collect all the Freddy Funkos that I can. Um, like I said, I don't know who Spike is. He kind of looks like Barney the Dinosaur if he had like dragon ears. Um, but I, I don't know who this character is, so that's why I passed on it. But it was a pretty affordable Freddy, all things considered, for like the royalty collection since the, the line was so cheap. Um, so looking back on it, I may have been able to get a cheap Freddy for a cheap price. Uh, this one is limited to 2,400 pieces, so slightly more. I wonder how many of these were actually redeemed. Uh, I know there is like a couple websites you can check into to see how many were redeemed, but I gotta think it wasn't close to 2,400. And despite you know current opinions, uh, I do believe that these uh, the lines after Ninja Turtles were destroyed. Um, so I think the ones that were not redeemed are no longer in existence. And uh, this may actually be a pretty rare Freddy Funko. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know 20%, 25% of these were not redeemed. So um, you know it makes it like 2,000 pieces pieces left but all things considered a pretty cool looking pop I think it translates pretty well in the Funko Pop form most Freddy's you know not all but most and uh, having the mascot and the character or a character like this that you are a fan of I think would be a cool thing if you know who Spike is but unfortunately I don't and that's why I didn't pick this one up but wanted to show you guys these two pops anyways just you know when things come in I feel like it's nice to show them um, a lot of times you see the glams 
uh, pictures of Funko Pops and they don't look the same as they would in video. So I like to show you guys everything that comes in just so you guys can kind of see an idea of what the Pops are if you were looking to go back and get them in your collection. There's a look of them side by side, the rarity and Freddy Funko Spike Royalty. So that is all I have for you guys today. Like I said, just a real quick video. Like I said, I do have some other Funko Pops coming in, some more from this line and some other really cool things I wanna show you guys. So as soon as they come in, I will do a video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys have gotten in your collection this week and if you did get any of those Nickelodeon or Funko, uh, the My Little Pony Funko NFTs into your collection. Be interested to see what you guys got. Thanks for watching as always. If you're interested in getting $15 off your first order via whatnot, there's a link in the description box below. You're able to get uh, some money off your collectible journey. Definitely a site I buy from a lot, so definitely check it out if you're interested. If you're interested in Funko or Pokemon cards, comic books, or sports cards, I do have a second channel, Savage Breaks. The link's in the description box for that as well. And if you want to check me out on Instagram, check me there at the Pop Savage. You can stay connected there too. Thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, see you later.